Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Silverman, Amazon best-selling author of Inside Out Health and chief clinical consultant for Conia Lasers LTD. I'm excited about showing you a new way to incorporate low-level laser therapy into your practice. What I've done is that I've broken it up into what I like to refer to as the three phases of care. Let's go through these three phases and let's approach many of our conditions in or looking to diagnose which phase of care our patients are in. Number one, phase one, and this is phase one after injury. It's the acute phase. It usually encompasses the first three to five days. It's an inflammation phase. It's a very protective phase. Phase two is called the subacute phase, typically starting on day four and including and going up to anywhere from eight weeks. It's a repair and a remodeling phase. So the structures are starting to repair and they're gonna be remodeling fibroblastic proliferation to have appropriate collagen parallel lying down. And then there's phase three, which we wanna get our patients to. And it's really where we wanna have our practice, a wellness ongoing performance phase. Obviously, I skipped one phase. We should talk about it also. It's called a chronic phase. The chronic phase goes anywhere where the injury timeline is from three to six months. It's ongoing repair and remodeling. Scar tissue adhesions and fibrosis is usually present. So when you think of the three phases of care, I want you to take it a step further and think of what I like to refer to as the injury cycle. The injury cycle for me is based on muscle imbalances. We get strong, we have weak, we have hypertonic, we have hypotonic muscles. Typically, the patient's going to have impaired movement. Now, movement tells a story about a patient's injury. Also, posture, there'll be postural faults. Posture is the shadow of movement, so they're intertwined. The whole key is at that point, it goes to what I like to refer to as faulty motor learning. It's the chip in the brain. And I will show you that in our three phases of care, we'll always incorporate some sort of upregulation to the cerebellum and or proprioceptive input. Going from faulty motor learning, we're going to go to altered joint forces and that proprioception. Now, I use that term, proprioception, your sense of awareness, your balance between your nervous system and your muscular system. When those altered joint forces and proprioception is off, you're going to get joint degeneration and rubbing of the joints, which will lead you to pain inflammation, cascading all around the injury cycle and the muscle imbalances. I like to tell all my patients that healing is a process. We all know that pain hurts without question, but sometimes after a treatment, it will ache. The change in sensation implies healing is a process. So in pre-injury, we have this beautiful, pristine tissues, muscle, ligaments, tendons, cartilage. We also have the vascular components, arteries and vein. And of course, we have no pressure to any kind of nerve. Unfortunately, you have a strained tissue, you have injured tissue, you're going to have different pressure, the starting of scar tissue, your muscles aren't going to move, you have a, what I call a soft piece of gum, and you may have some pressure to nerves, arteries and veins, some hypoxia. Taking it to the next step where the patient hasn't come to you or had this surgical intervention and they have scar tissue, you're going to have healed scar tissue. Scar tissue left on the muscle after healing restricts the muscle fibers, the nerves, and vessels causing pain and leaving the muscle less flexible. So we want to approach these type of injuries. The injuries that you see in your office, the injuries that I see in my office in the three phases of care with the frequency. So we, again, we broke it up into acute, subacute, and performance and wellness. So we have four for the EVRL, which is your conium violet red laser. We have four frequencies, each diode, has two frequencies. We have a Q1, we have a Q2, and we have a Q3. They each have the same time limit or time suggestion, five minutes. So Q1, I want you to do on day one. A Q2, I want you to do on day two. And a Q3, I want you to do on day three. You're switching the frequencies, not a huge change, but just enough because you want the patient's body to have to adapt to a new stimuli. Incidentally, frequency is the amount of times that the laser beam hits the skin per second. You get billions and billions of photons. So to make those subtle changes can really help with physiological outcomes. Subacute, same thing is true. Subacute one, subacute two, 
and subacute three. Now he is very interested day one or in that subacute, let's say you're seeing that patient twice a week, you're gonna do subacute one on day one, subacute two on day two, obviously that you see them, subacute three on day three and then switch. And or you can also decrease the time and switch their frequencies during the treatment. The third one is the wellness and performance phase. Once again, you're gonna have wellness and performance one, wellness and performance two, wellness and performance three. There's gonna be some additional settings. We're gonna have a chronic setting, a nerve root setting, a brain setting, and a gut setting. So those are gonna be the ones that you're gonna start with. So that's 13 settings to start. Try and look at all the musculoskeletal conditions in a three phases of care when you start with your typical handheld EVRL, Arconia Violet Red Laser. I also shared some frequencies with the FX635 and the FX405. They're broken up very similarly in acute one, subacute one, wellness and performance, chronic nerve root, brain, and um, gut once again. Now here's the difference. There's four frequencies for the EVRL because there's two frequencies per diode, whereas the FX635 has three diodes. It also circulates in this kind of manner. In that, you'll have and use six different frequencies, whereas the 405 has an additional diode. So it has four diodes. Now the FX635, let me be clear, has three red diodes. The FX405 has three red diodes and one violet diode. The EVRL handheld has one red and one violet. So I also like to adhere to the concept of how you treat someone. And I hope to be seeing everybody. And we have several docs who do training. After you purchase your Aconia laser, you'll get an hour training. I like to refer to how to approach and treat within the three phases of care as something that I like to refer to is that it's as simple as one, two, three. Number one, you wanna point and shoot static positioning of the patient and the laser. You're then gonna passively move the patient. The doctor moves the patient and the doctor also moves the laser. This is with your handheld laser. Active at that point, the patient's gonna move the limb and the doctor also is gonna move the laser. So it's as simple as one, two, three, point and shoot, passive care and active care. And the bonus, will be that you're gonna laser the cerebellum for brain upregulation, what I like to refer to as laser motor locking. You will learn all these moves in your training. And lastly, now that you've purchased the Aconia laser, I wanna differentiate the lights. The red light is a 635 nanometer light. It's a modulator. It increases energy flow and dissipates energy if it's too high. It promotes increased energy through the stimulation of mitochondria. It has an anti-inflammatory effect. It enhances ATP production and protein synthesis with pain reduction. It creates an improvement in collagen fiber formation in wound healing. It also has shown to reduce pain, decrease muscle spasm while increasing muscle strength and range of motion. It balances the parasympathetic nervous system and enhances microcirculation of blood and lymph. And lastly, it balances cell to cell to communication. So the red light, 635 nanometer light, does a plethora of different things. The violet light has more, what we like to refer to as electromagnetic transfer of energy. The laser sends photon energy which ultimately leads to electromagnetic transfer of energy. The violet light, is a 405 nanometer light. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system. It helps body defenses eliminate bacteria, virus, fungal infections, pathogens. It works in a very short period of time. It's greater response to immune function. It also, for your musculoskeletal gurus, helps you release and heal fascial adhesions. And it is a choice wavelength for something that I'm gonna share with everybody, vagus nerve stimulation. So with all that said, when you get an EVRL, you're getting the combination of the red and the violet. So you're getting them to work together. You're not canceling anything out and you're getting something that is a standalone modality that also has a synergistic approach with any of your other treatment modalities. I look forward to training you. 
I'm happy you're embarking in what I like to refer as the breakthrough modality of the 21st century. It has revolutionized my practice, and it's also revolutionized my personal health care. I suffer from congenital torticollis, and about 12 years ago was looking for something to help me because cervical adjustments no longer worked with the fusion in the neck, and laser was there for me. I started with myself. I started with my friends and my family, and now I've built a practice based on low-level laser therapy, and I'm fortunate enough to be able to speak to you kind people. Any questions, feel free to reach out. My name is Dr. Robert Silverman, always yours in health.